Okay, welcome guys. I'm going to be going over all the changes that are in this Minecraft 1.4, I guess 0.2 if you want, update. And I'll be doing them in a fairly quick fashion so that I can get through. There's a lot of uh, a lot of changes, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting off with the boring stuff, server IPs can now be hidden individually when editing or adding a server. Server version is now displayed, as you can see right here, so bam, 1.3, this is a 1.3 server, therefore you cannot join it. It says server out of date right there, and my IP for this is also hidden. As you can see right here, chat settings have been renamed to multiplayer settings. If you go into that, you can see a show cape option, which I do not have a cape, but if you were to go to Minecon, you got that cape, you could hit off, and your cape would disappear. Also... You come here, where is it? Where is it? Video settings, V-Sync. There's an option for V-Sync. V-Sync just basically drops your FPS to 60 at a steady pace. And also there's a full screen toggle. While pressing F3 to bring up the, uh, the F F3 mode, if you want to call it, the pie chart used to be automatically on the screen. Now it is not unless you press Shift F3, which I will do right now. Shift F3, there's the pie chart. Get rid of that, gone, bam. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the only thing with that so if you're gonna press you're gonna press H F3 you will get uh, you will get uh, let's get us a tool I don't know why I just type T but whatever let's go diamond let's get us a diamond sword and uh, let's go game mode zero let's destroy that bam you hit that okay so H, F3, H, can't be in that menu, let's go E, bam, you can see now durability is 1559 out of 1561. Using the pick block button, which default is set as your scroll wheel, will give you the maximum amount, um, maximum amount in that stack. So as you can see right there, I have the smooth sandstone, if I want to get oak wood, I just, bam, right there. Also, by using the scroll wheel on just a random block, you can obtain that block in your inventory. So, press the scroll wheel. Oh, I already have that. Press the scroll wheel. Bam. Dirt block. Let's go press the scroll wheel over here. Bam. Pressing the 1 to 9 hotkeys over the bar or over the uh, the item in your creative inventory will now put that in the spot. So, let's press 9 on this birch wood plank. Bam. In the spot. Typing slash difficulty 0 to 3 will change the difficulty of your game mode, so 0 being peaceful, 3 being hard. Typing forward slash weather and then whatever weather you want, we'll, uh, we'll toggle that weather. So let's go forward slash weather rain. As you can see, it's starting to rain. Let's go forward slash, let's go forward slash weather snow. Doesn't work, so let's just go clear. Typing slash clear and then your player name or any other player name will clear the player's inventory. Added new sounds for placing wood, stone, sand, and gravel. New walking sounds for sand, gravel, soul sand. Stone, and finally grass. New sounds were added when you shear sheep. Also, when you set fire to something. New sounds were also added for climbing ladders, landing in liquid. And riding in minecarts. When using commands, the commands at P equals closest player, at A equals all players, and at R equals random players. Entities can now pass through portals as well as players in creative mode can now be instantly teleported to the nether. So here's an example. Let's throw this, gone, shears, and egg. And now let us go into the nether. And we picked them all up as we got here. While in adventure mode, it is possible to mine up and uh, to gather up blocks if you have the correct tools. For example, shovel. We can now gain soul sand, gravel, sand, grass. But we cannot get this dirt. 
or sorry, this <laughs> this dirt, the stone. But if we have this pickaxe right here, we can get the stone, but we cannot get this. And blocks are now placeable. Chickens now use seed instead of wheat to breed. Pigs now use carrots instead of wheat to breed. Oh! Added three new mobs to the game, the first being the bat. Oh, he's so adorable. Second being the witch. I'm in peaceful. That was a mistake. Second being the witch. As you can see, wardied up, purple cloak wearing, potion throwing, son of a bitch. And the third being the Wither Skeleton. Now he's much taller than the player. He carries a sword and he spawns from a skeleton egg in the nether. And they spawn in nether fortresses. Now you can gain something called the Wither Skeleton Skull. Which becomes, it's a very rare drop from killing Wither Skeletons. And you can also get one for creepers, all that jazz. Creepers, skeletons, regular skeletons, sorry, zombies, even player heads. But this thing right here, this is uh, the Wither Boss, and what I'm about to show you is now that bosses, their name appears above the bar instead of just the bar. So you take three of these heads, you place it on four pieces of soul sand in the formation like this, and you get a Wither. And as you can see at the top there, it actually says his name. Now, this guy is something spectacular. He's, uh, he's just blew up, he hit me real good, destroyed everything I had, and uh... It's pretty gruesome, so I'm gonna get out of here! He destroyed my portal! No! Okay, so you can now recreate worlds from your old world. So let's, let's exa for example, take my Let's Play world. Let's hit recreate. Let's keep it survival. This is the seed. It'll, you can do all this stuff, all the normal stuff. So let's go create a new world. And uh, you're about to see. So it just spawns you in the exact same world as as it would have been in before, just without all the stuff. Items spawned using the command slash give player name and then item ID are now instantly pick up. Well, as you can see, bam, it, it no longer throws it out there. You automatically pick it up. Doors, levers, buttons, as well as trap doors are no longer activated via left click. Left click does absolutely nothing to them now. You have to right click, which makes it a I like this. I like this change. Makes it a lot easier. Let me close that. Because when you were trying to destroy it, it would just the door would go like this. But now they took away that. So I'll show you trap doors too. See left clicking. But no. There you go. Going to create new world, going game mode, whatever you want. More world options. You want to go to super flat world. Sorry, I overpassed it. You want to go to customize, and now you have the option. To, to pretty much customize what you want it to be. So let's go presets, for example. Let's do... Let's do, um... Let's do an overworld. So let's go use preset. And let's create the world. So, as you can see, there will be... Top will be one, one grass block, and then three dirt blocks, 59 stone blocks, one bedrock. So let's do that. Let's create this world. Create new world. see the world is created let us go to game mode one do not have permission of course but you're just gonna have to trust me so you can see top one and then there should be three more and then you hit stone so very nice new food items such as carrots and potatoes can now be found in just regular npc villages so if you want to actually we can't we're in creative mode so if we want to stomp on it you see, we get potatoes. We get potatoes. We do not. We're not getting potatoes. We get potatoes. We get potatoes. Potatoes. Now, we get carrots. We get lots of carrots. Lots of carrots. As you can see in my inventory bar below, we are gathering carrots. We are gathering potatoes. This block right here is called the command block, and it is used as uh, player commands basically. So, for example, you right click on this, you see. The code or the command, sorry, time set zero is in there. So you have that. Oh, okay. And you want to right click this lever, and I'm sure you could probably guess that it'll act as it'll act as basically typing it out. So you want to get this lever, bam, it's day. And you, as you can see in the bottom left corner, it says set the time to zero. 
So it's just an easier way of doing that stuff. And the only way to give this block, it's not in the creative inventory, is to type slash give player name 137. And I just bumped my mic. This magical boost is called the beacon. Now the beacon is something that can grant you uh, potion effects within a certain range. Now that certain range would be 16 blocks from the smallest and then so on and so forth. Sorry, I don't have the numbers on me right now, but yeah. And what you want to do is you want to see the smallest pyramid is just one level and then so on and so forth as you can see by these these right here now i have the biggest right now i have the largest pyramid you can get no i don't i have this pyramid right here the three level three level pyramid now this is the four level pyramid which i do not have but uh so for an example these two speed and haste now they can come from the uh the lowest pyramid next to resistance and jump boost come from the second pyramid strength third pyramid and regeneration would be the biggest pyramid but that's that's a secondary power so you get that one on top of sorry this one on top of this one so how you want to do it is you want to put a diamond in and you want to just let's say we'll select speed now we have speed and regeneration so you want to hit done and now as long as we are in this radius we have a speed boost this beast of an item is called an anvil. Now, an anvil allows you to repair uh, damaged tools. You can rename items. It's very cool, actually. So you want to say we have this enchanted diamond sword, for example. Now, we want to rename it. Say we want to rename it A. Now, that's going to cost you 22 levels. So you take it out. You hear that sound? That's a pretty nifty sound. Now, this, this is uh, it's, it's a sword called A. That is pretty badass. Now say we want to repair this this damaged diamond sword. Just throw a diamond in there. It's going to cost us just one level. And we got a brand new diamond sword. Say we want to... I don't know if... That, okay, yeah. So to do... I don't have another enchanted weapon on me. But if we wanted to combine the enchantments. There's four max enchantments on a weapon. You can combine two there and two there. It'll cost you some levels. But you just... You'll get both those... It's hard to explain. But you'd get these two plus... Say, for example, the two on this one combined onto one sword right there as well as renaming it. Items shown here can be destroyed by uh, falling anvils as anvils act as sand or gravel. They obey the laws of gravity. So we have levers, buttons, torch, redstone torch, redstone repeater, flower pot, uh, <laughs> minecraft, or my <laughs> Jesus, minecart, track, and mop head. So we will show it here. Anvil, bam, no more. Button, gone. See you later. Torch, gone. Redstone torch, gone. Bam, you're gone. See you never. Didn't stand a chance. Headshot! Yeah! Redstone repeaters can now be locked in the position that they are currently in. As you can see, this one is on right now, but if I were to switch this lever, it would lock it with this tiny piece of bedrock. And now, it is unusable. If I were to switch that on, those can be these can be toggled, but as soon as this one goes off, it is usable again. Or not. Bingo! Flower pots are new additions to the game where you can decorate your house with uh, small trees. So, so you can see with all the items here and all the items in my inventory, these can all go into the flower pots and make your house just look nice, I guess, if you'd like. If you like that kind of thing. Cobblestone walls and mossy cobblestone walls are new additions that act similarly to fences, seeing as they look pretty small, but they act one and a half blocks tall, and you cannot jump over them. Raw wood will now be placed directionally off of what block it's placed off of, so if you just place it on the ground, it'll be straight up every time. But, if you place it off of another block, it will angle in the direction, which makes for some cool patterns, and uh... Yeah! Stairs now form corners with other stairs to make some pretty nifty designs, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. So, instead of having the stupid little friggin' slabs and stuff, you can now just make your own cool, like, pyramid design with these stairs. Paintings now allow you to put items inside of a picture frame, such as a map. Any any item, really. You can rotate it by right-clicking. It's it's awesome. It's, it's great for designing, and you can just... You simply get the item back by just clicking on it. I'm in creative mode, so it won't show that, but you just do that. You get the item frame and the item back. But definitely the coolest feature is being able to hang maps on the wall. 
Trapdoors can now be placed on the top half of blocks instead of being like this as they used to be. They can now be placed like that for even better designs. The addition of the wooden button was added. Sweet! You can now craft a carrot on a stick by placing a fishing rod in the center and placing a carrot diagonal of it. You put it there as well. Craft the carrot on a stick and this is great for riding pigs. See we got this little piggy here, little piggy! and. We got the stick, we got the carrot on the stick, and he's gonna follow us! Right click on him, and ride him, cowboy. He's gonna follow whichever way that stick goes. He's gonna go up these stairs, and yes. This is absolutely amazing. Amazing. Yeehaw. A night vision potion can be made by adding a, a golden carrot to an awkward potion in the brewing stand, and this allows you to see. Let us go, not that, let us go time set 18,000, it's night time, we drink this potion, that looks amazing, it looks even better than it does during the day, I love that, I love this guy, thank you for adding that. By adding a fermented spider eye to a night vision potion, you can get a potion what is called an invisibility potion. Now this potion, as I'm sure you can guess, will just turn you invisible bam completely gone now I'm nothing all I have is the uh, the bubbles coming off my body awesome zombies can now spawn with armor weapons and yeah they can spawn with there's a pig that spawned with a saddle for some reason that that's some tomfoolery but yes as you, I can, I, blah, blah. As you can see this zombie is spawned with a Wooden sword. Now, if I were to kill him, there's not a 100% chance I would get that sword. And I said wooden, but I meant stone. There's not a 100% chance I would get that sword. But if I were to throw him one of my items, and he were to pick it up, there's a 100% chance that I would get that back. And look at this! That is a zombie testificate. That is bad ass. You, sir, are my bro. As you can see right here, <laughs> a spider jockey spawned with a skeleton wearing full leather armor. I've never seen that before. That is badass, and his shoulders are shimming in the wind. You can now dye leather armor just by using dye in a crafting table. So you take this leather cap, you throw some blue in there. It's a blue cap. You can even add purple, change up the color a little bit. Maybe throw in some white or light gray, I guess, if you will. Change that up. Bam! That is a color right there. Maybe throw one more in. That's just gray. No one likes gray. Well, I won't say no one. But look at that. That is cool, man. Can't tell me that's not cool. Let me put that on. Ah, and you can also right click to wear your stuff in the survival inventory now. So we got five. And look at that. Instead of the crappy little brown, you could do it. You could do it, man. So say we want to get rid of the color on our leather dye. You just need a cauldron filled with water. And you need to right click it. And now you just have normal colored armor again. Do it one more time. Normal colored armor again. One more. Bam. Everything is back to normal. You can get three uses per cauldron. So I want to thank you for watching my 50 changes to Minecraft 1.4. And if you've stuck around this far, then you are a true fan and I really appreciate you. I spent a lot of time putting this together this morning after I got home from work. And I'm extremely tired right now as I'm finishing up and I'm just I just can't wait to go to bed because I have to work again tonight It's gonna be hell like I said. I want to thank you for watching. This has been 50 changes to minecraft 1.4 and uh, Yeah, thanks peace